Hi folks, I hope you're doing well uh, today. Um, I'm going to be looking at the Book of Ruth uh, today, specifically a section from the, the first chapter. Um, but before we do that, uh, I just want to explain how I, I got to that point. Um, this week has been quite full of sadness and tears. Um, and I know that that might not be a, a new experience for some of you. Um, the last several weeks uh, I think has been quite emotional for a lot of people. I, I know I've had my moments too, but this week specifically for, for me just felt like it, it sort of was a bit overwhelming. Um, on Monday I found out that a, a, a close friend of mine had lost her granddad. Um, a colleague had lost his newborn niece. Um, a good friend of mine is very, very sick. Um, and it just felt like it, it kept sort of coming one right after the other. And within a day, um, then we started watching the news uh, and seeing all the stuff that's happening in America at the moment. Um, and it's just heartbreaking. Uh, then on Tuesday night, I was just sitting um, and praying and thinking about all of this stuff and it just overwhelmed me so much that I just I sat and I cried um, so then I after I'd stopped crying I, I decided to turn to my Bible um, I, I really wanted to I was thinking about the lament sort of stuff that's in the Psalms Jared spent um, the first Bible reflection um, for the series that we've done, Jared spent time looking at the Psalms and looking at lament and how sadness can be expressed in the Bible and those feelings. So I wanted to try and find something like that to, to understand what I was thinking. So I, I went to my Bible app and I went to the question, how are you feeling? And I picked sad. And within this, it kept suggesting for me to read the book of Ruth. So there was a devotional that had popped up um, by a lady called Kelly Minter. And as I was reading through the Book of Ruth and reading the devotional at the same time, there was a section that had come up that Kelly had been talking about, about weeping forward. And this really struck me and um, it really caught my, my attention. Um, so for those of you that don't know the Book of Ruth at all, um, I really recommend you read it. It's it's quite a short story. It's only four very small chapters. It's actually a really, really good book to read. Um, but it starts off with Naomi and her husband um, leaving the, the land that God has given to the Israelites. They decide to go to another land, a foreign land, um, of a people that God has separated from them. He doesn't want them to mix. Um, but while Naomi and her husband are in this land, her two sons marry local girls, Orpha and Ruth. Um, and then Naomi's husband and her two sons dies. Um, so hearing that things are, are improving um, back in her homeland, Naomi decides to, to leave um, and starting at verse 6 in chapter 1 of Ruth, we, we then read, When Naomi heard in Moab that the Lord had come to the aid of his people by providing food for them, she and her daughters-in-law prepared to return home from there. With her two daughters-in-law, she left the place where she had been living and set out on the road that would take them back to the land of Judah. Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's home. May the Lord show you kindness, as you have shown kindness to your dead husbands and to me. May the Lord grant that each of you will find rest in the home of another husband. Then she kissed them goodbye and they wept aloud and said to her, We will go back with you to your people. But Naomi said, Return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? I am not going to have any more sons who could become your husband. Return home, my daughters. I am too old to have another husband. Even if I thought there was still hope for me, even if I had a husband tonight and then gave birth to sons, would you wait until they grew up? 
Would you remain unmarried for them? No, my daughters, it is more bitter for me than for you, because the Lord's hand has turned against me. At this they wept aloud again. Then Orpha kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth clung to her. Look, said Naomi, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her gods. Go back with her. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. When Naomi realised that Ruth was determined to go with her, she stopped urging her. So the two women went on until they came to Bethlehem. So in a time of massive upheaval, there was much crying for all three women. Ruth displayed such loyalty to Naomi, especially in the, the speech she gives asking Naomi not to ask her to leave. Ruth had started a journey with Naomi that she wanted to see through. In Ruth's eyes, she kept moving forward. In this strange and alien time we're in, there is going to be so much weeping. The last several weeks in lockdown haven't been easy and we don't know what's ahead. The, the social unease that is rising is something we'll have to watch to see how this story unfolds. Sadly, likely, more lives may be lost because of it. But God wants us to move forward. Orpha obeyed the instructions given to her and took her own path back to her family. This may be the path for some of us as well. I, I don't think what Orpha did was wrong or bad. But sometimes the scary and the right thing to do is to step out on the journey. Kelly Minter writes in her devotional text, Be encouraged. God sees your tears. Cry them. Weep them, feel them, but don't let them stop you. It's possible to cry and walk. So often I try to hide my tears when I cry and I hate it because at times it makes me feel so weak. On the odd occasion that I've had to leave a room to cry, um, but I've kept right on walking so that I might be left on my own, um, I, I felt my mind focus I felt a shift away in that I've, I've been feeling and with that a time to reflect and then adjust. Or I've been emboldened by the strong feelings that I'm having. This idea of weeping forward for me seems like a nice way to frame something that could leave me feeling motionless and lost. And it's not something that I'd say force yourself to do. Don't force yourself forward on a journey when you're sad and crying. So like Orpha, sometimes in the time of sorrow, in that moment of sorrow, going back to the ones that we love can be the best thing for us. So as I finished my reading on Tuesday... I actually went back to a verse that had popped up when I clicked the, the link on how are you feeling and under the bandness, banner of sadness. Um, but I, I didn't start with this verse um, because as I said, I wanted to understand my sadness and um, to, to, to engage more with this understanding of lament that is a theme within the Bible as well. So I want you to understand it before I tried to ease it. So the verse that I'd actually saw first, but wanted to come back to, was the really well-known verse from Revelations 21.4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. 
God promises our time of weeping and sadness isn't forever. There will be a time when it won't exist. This brings me a deep sense of comfort, but also knowing that in my time of sadness and weeping, I can continue to journey with God. And this brings me a sense of encouragement and strength that I hadn't quite expected at the start of the week. Let's pray. Loving God, with all that is happening in the world at the moment, being sad and crying seems like a right and natural response. Father God, let us know when it's right to turn back to the loving comfort of our families. But also, Lord, let us be strengthened and encouraged to take that step out on a journey that you have planned for us. That we can weep and be emboldened to carry on going forward. Be with us and comfort and strengthen us this week and this day. In your name, Amen.